Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, happy Monday. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Um, I haven't showed you guys a drink in a very long time, so here we are. I have my smoothie. It's like my go-to traditional amazing smoothie that like is healthy but tastes so delicious as well. I'll share with you guys the recipe sometime soon. Um, but for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my yes, no, maybe so. So I decided that I want to make these videos bi-weekly. So the last time I did this kind of video was two weeks ago. So here we are again on a Monday two weeks later um if you guys are new to the yes no maybe so series it's basically a series that i started on my channel quite a while ago it's where i discuss um with you guys newly released makeup items i let you guys know if it's going to be in my yes section so if it's going to be something that i'm going to pick up if it's going to be something in my no section something that i'm going to skip out on or if it's going to be in my maybe section which basically means i'm indecisive about that so of course you guys know in these videos and in general i love to hear your comments feedback thoughts all of that so um, yeah, definitely leave those down below, but let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I have my notebook. Hold on, I threw it in my phone. Last night I wrote it in my notebook once I go. Okay, so here's my notebook. I pretty much have three to four products per section. Let's get started with the first thing that's in my yes section. This is from Tarte. Let's go over to the side. Um, and this is a new collection that they recently released, and I have to say that I'm really excited about this one just because I feel like Tarte has been releasing items here and there, but those like items that they recently released like in the past few months, I don't know, it just didn't really attract me, you know? So now that they recently released this collection, I was like, yes, like, you know, that kind of feeling where you get like butterflies in your stomach, that, that's what I had with this collection. So they recently released a bunch of products that are part of the Maracuja line, inspired by their Maracuja, is that how you say Maracuja? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Maracuja oil it was an oil that i used years ago i want to say when i was around 19 20 21 it was like my favorite i don't own it anymore but i remember it being amazing so they basically released a bunch of other items inspired by that oil which i love because like i'll take it firstly they have the maracuja tinted hydrator which is going to retail for 29 dollars. it's an ultra lightweight and hydrating tinted moisturizer it has skincare infused formula delivers steerable coverage to help out even out skin tone and minimize the appearance of imperfections it helps your skin look smoother and all of that this looks amazing for $29 I feel like it would be something that I would really enjoy firstly because I feel like it's priced well and I love the fact that it has skin infused ingredients in here I could see myself just using this constantly in the summertime there are 20 shades in the line and it is a vegan formula which I love when brands do that because it's just like it's like a win-win situation hopefully it's gonna perform nicely on the face so yeah that really intrigued me I also love the packaging it's like nice squeezy you could throw it around I'm all about to throw around life because I I don't treat myself amazingly. Uh, the next thing that they released is the Maracuja Miracle Mist. You guys know me in my mists. I have a ton right over here. I still have to play around with the Fenty one, but this looks amazing. This is gonna retail for $23, and it says here that it is a continuous 360 non aerosol mister delivers even a controlled weightless application that sets makeup up to 12 hours i need to have this in my life it looks amazing i love continuous mist because then you just kind of feel like you're in a spa 24 7 although they do finish faster than typical mists i would say but you win you lose you know what i'm saying this looks so good um and then the next thing that they did release is the um lip oil the maracuja glossy lip oil it's retailing for 15 bucks it has a high shine finish with a hint of pink so they basically only released one color i do really love lip oils i find them to be very you know moisturizing of course it's nice to use on the go it's nice to use at home although i like to use it on the go and it's also really nice to wear on bottom of any like drying lip product i do like the color i like that it has a sheer wash of color and it's not too pink well hopefully it won't be so that kind of intrigues me as well but i really do want to pick up the tinted moisturizer as well as the mist like pronto style because they look really really good <laughs> next up we have a re-release this right here is the abh nicole guerrero um, highlighter palette so it's retailing for 40 dollars, and there are six highlighters that are included in here so this is an item that actually released a few years back it was limited edition and it was like once it was gone it was gone uh, so they re-released it last week i want to say and i'm happy that they kind of did because i feel like it was an item that a lot of people like missed out on and it was the opportunity it was their opportunity to pick it up and love it if they wanted to for me personally i'm going to go ahead and skip on it because i actually did own it already but i ended up decluttering it because i just felt like i really wasn't using it a ton it's funny i feel like with the glow kits i always like wanted to love them do you know what i mean but there was never one that i was like die hard over that i was like oh my gosh formulas bombs away this is my right or die this is my my jam i never had that with the palette even though i did want to have it with the palette um basically 
I will say though, out of all of the glow kits that I did own, I actually enjoyed this one the most. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, once you're out of my life, you're done. Um, so basically this palette includes six highlighters, five of which are a bit deeper in tone, but then you get a light, a light, nice white highlighter. So you can kind of mix and match that with the other ones. And then depending on your skin, you can kind of go lighter or deeper. So it should work out for you, you know. And if you were curious about this one or if you um, always wanted it, I would say pick it up because I know that feeling of like not being able to get something and then it comes back and you're like, <gasps> you like need it. I get you. I get you. Uh, for me, like I said, I'm just not going to repurchase it because I decluttered it and also I just felt like I really wasn't using it much. So that's going to be in my notes section. I feel like I just repeated myself like a lot just now. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing that is in my maybe section. This right here is from BH Cosmetics. Um, this right here is the... Romantic Nomad palette. It has 16 shades and it's going to retail for $12. I really, really, really like the color story of this palette. It's in my maybe section because I'm kind of like, I don't know. I feel like with BH Cosmetics, I don't know what it is about the brand. I just can never like jump on their releases. I feel like it's probably like that because years ago I did have a BH Cosmetics palette and it was really not the best quality ever. So, so anytime they release anything new, I'm kind of like, oh, take a step back. But wait, wait. Years have passed, they've gotten better, but then take a step back, I just don't know, but then take a, you know what I mean, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so yeah, this is in my maybe section, but I love this color story. It's something that is extremely different and very unique. You get a selection of, I would say neutral crease shades and then a really nice amount of like purpley toned shade that you could throw on the lids. The way this palette is curated, just like open, curated? The way this palette is curated just literally opened up my eyes and I'm like, wow. And, and honestly, for the $12, you really can't go wrong. I, I feel like I need to have this in my life. It's my, in my maybe section, but I feel like it's leaning more towards the side of, yeah, girl, you need that. Also, I will say, um, I did purchase a few palettes from TJ Maxx from BH Cosmetics, and every time I use those palettes, I'm like blown away. So I have to just change my mindset of BH Cosmetics. People change, brands change, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we have a bunch of Sephora favorites kits that I wanna speak about. So there are two on Sephora's site already that have been released. I do wanna pick those up, but there are gonna be about two or three other ones that are gonna release, uh, one second. In, on April 7th, so in a few weeks. But I did want to mention this because I want to purchase all of them and kind of review all of them in one video. I used to just review one in each video, but I'm thinking it's probably more worth it to just review, you know, three or four in one video. Anyway, <laughs> I can't see the prices of these kits, but they're probably going to retail for 40 or less. Um, so the first one we have up is the Fresh Squeezed Little Kit. We get a lip product, the Too Faced um, Peach foundation which i hate but i want to try the other products in here um we get a milk makeup um, cream blush what else ula henriksen eye cream mark jacobs one second youth quake moisturizer i believe a sephora mask so most of the items in here are items that i haven't tried and i would love to try the next kit that we have here is called the poolside party kit we get the full size of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte, a full size Sephora lipstick, which I love. I love their lipsticks. I don't think I've tried that. Jada Jouet Highlighter, a uh, Boom Boom Cream, a Patrick Ta like Illuminator, and that's honestly why I really want to pick this up. A Fresh Sugar Lip Balm, and then a few other items. So I feel like these two kits are curated really, really well. I thought there were three kits that I wanted, but no, there are only two kits that I do want um, that are going to release, but then they also released two already that are on Sephora's website, if all of that made sense. But yeah, both of these look amazing, and I think for the price, um, it's a great way to just kind of test out what Sephora has to offer. I love when they do these Sephora favorites kits. Like they're just so always so exciting. Moving on to the next product. This right here is going to be in my no section. It's from Sigma and it's the Core de Rosa uh, palette. This basically is pretty much your go-to orange warm, warm, warm tone palette. Um, I actually think it's really gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. The reason why I'm not going to pick this up is because of the fact that I feel like I mean, I say this all the time. I feel like I have a lot of these kind of shades. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm kind of getting into more cooler tone type of shades or neutral shades. I haven't worn like a warm, warm look in a very long time. I don't think that I did. But yeah, I feel like I'm kind of wanting to switch things around. And I just don't see myself using this anytime soon. Um, also, what I want to say. Oh yeah, I feel like a lot of the shades will look very, very similar on the eye. 
I had to throw up my hair in a bun. I am sweating. I was trying to pull the hair together, but it's not working out. But anyways, back to this palette. I feel like this palette just really doesn't spark joy. Um, I feel like a lot of the shades are going to look pretty similar. I have a lot of fiery toned um, palettes that I could use, or I have a lot of these kind of shades in other palettes. So I think I'm going to skip out on this. Also, I'm very into packaging. So if the packaging was like OMG vibes, like cuteness galore, and the shades inside would be this, I'd be like, eh, you know, I need, I need to have it in my life. But because the packaging is more simpler um, and because the shades are very orangey, I think I want to skip out on it. <laughs> what are you saying? Next, we're moving on to ColourPop. So ColourPop recently released five sponges. Um, they are beautiful. I love all of the pastel colors. So each sponge is gonna retail for $7 or you can purchase um, the, the kit, the sponge kit for 20, which I think is pretty good. That's priced amazingly. I'll tell you what it is. I'm very, very hooked on my beauty blender. I feel like I haven't found any sponge that works as well as a beauty blender. I'm using the Ofra one now, which I like, but I don't love it as much as the beauty blender. Um, and it's, it's just, it takes a lot out of me to buy a sponge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These, just looking at them, it feels like they're gonna, they, they look like they're gonna be very thick and like very, like not as mushy as a, beauty blender sponge i feel like it looks like a very typical sponge that we see like every other brand makes so that's why it's in my maybe section but on the other hand it is color pop and i love trying out their products and i kind of still want to see what this is about without actually judging the item based on the picture and i'm thinking if i would purchase it i'd probably purchase all five because five for 20 sounds good or maybe one for seven i'm not really sure i feel like they all have the same feel to them they just have a different shape right um next time i place an order on color pop's web website i might pick up one but it's not the type where it's like oh my god it released i need to pick it up right away although that's what i was thinking initially but then i'm like eh, and then it just immediately went into my bb section so yeah let me know if you guys tried those i know that they released quite a few weeks ago uh, so if you do have them and you like them please let me know because i need to know <laughs> okay moving on to the next thing we have um these two items from nars these are for sure going to be in my yes section i really really love nars laguna bronzer it's like probably one of my favorite high-end bronzers just looks so good on the skin you know so, so i'm not sure if these are um bronzers they already have in the line but they just kind of switched up the packaging it's possible um but if that's the case maybe i'll still purchase it because i actually just hit pan on my little laguna so cute love it yeah, i do want these they're just giving me like summer vibes and then they're actually going to be releasing a new blush which is called orgasm x um which looks like a really gorgeous peachy goldeny blush i love that blush orgasm is one of my favorite like blushes ever um and it just looks really pretty on the skin i feel like it suits every single skin tone so i do want to pick um, these up and then the packaging to die for i swear next we have two items here that are going to be in my no section these are from laura mercier and they're her new face illuminators each one is going to retail for 45 dollars. There are, there are two brand new shades that she released to the line we have affection and sensation i've tried a few of her highlighters and i really do like them i'm not obsessive over them but they're pretty good they're nice um the reason why this is gonna be my no section is firstly i think it's a little bit obvious but the shades seem so so dark it's definitely not both of these shades are definitely not shades that i usually gravitate towards so i know i probably won't get a ton of use out of them um also each one is retailing for 45 dollars it's kind of up there it's kind of up there we have found a few other tj uh we <laughs> We have found a few other highlighters from Laura Mercier at TJ Maxx, so it's possible this will end up being there, but I'm definitely not purchasing this for the $45 uh, for the reasons that I stated because of the price and because they're just not going to match me. I will say though, the embossment is beautiful. We have these gorgeous roses on the inside, and I love when brands add that like little touch because it really does add a lot. Um, I know my mother would just be like blown away with like how beautiful that is so yeah as gorgeous as those are i'm gonna go ahead and skip on them moving on to the next thing that's gonna be in my yes section like absolutely this right here is from melt cosmetics i'm actually wearing the melt <laughs> what is up with my words today let me tell you i'm actually wearing the melt millennial pinks palette on my eyes today i tried it for the first time and i have to say not obsessed i'm not um i have to try it i uh, use it a little bit more to see what's up but the metallics definitely have a ton of fallout and the mattes they blend okayly like the lighter ones are nice but the dark ones are a bit like like they skip so 
It depends. If this looks like shit, then it's not me. It's the palette. <laughs> or maybe it's my problem. But this right here is the Rust palette. So Melt is very well known for the like Rust stacks. I've always wanted one or two of those stacks because it just looks so cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm using this stack. Like, what? I love it. Even though there isn't a lot of variety in those stacks, it's just really cool, I feel like. Um, so, But I never purchased any of those. I don't know. Time went on. I, I don't have any of them. I might end up purchasing one or two. But anyways, we're going to be releasing this palette right here, which is called the Rust Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like this palette was inspired by their Rust Stack. Their Rust Stack retails for, I think, like 45 or 50 bucks. And there are only four shades that are included in there. In here, we are getting 10 eyeshadows. And I think this is going to retail for around the $50 price tag. Um, now, you might look at this and be like, those are such typical shades. Maybe similar to like the Stigma, stigma, stigma ones. But I feel like this one right here has a little bit more um, variety just because we have a deeper brown. And there are fiery tone shades in here, but there aren't an excessive amount of that, you know? Um, we get a selection of mattes and metallics, and I know, I know for a fact that if I will use this palette, I'll probably come up with a ton of different looks. And also, like, rustic browns are my gem. This is just, just it's giving me a very rusty vibe. And I love it. I think it really, really brings out brown eyes, but I also think it brings out a whole bunch of other eye colors. Um, because I don't have the rust stack, I feel like I will justify um, the rust life by purchasing this. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Moving on to the last item that I want to speak to you guys about. This right here is from Too Faced, and this is the, uh, one second, Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Matte Concealer. So they're going to be releasing these little like pot concealers part, that's part of the Too Faced um, Peach line. How much are these going to retail for? One second. Oh, so these are going to retail for $22. The packaging is so cute. So adorable. I haven't used a pot concealer in such a long time, but these look amazing. Let's talk about the peach line for a second. So a few of the items work really well for me from the peach line, but there are a few items that they don't just don't, they don't just not work. They literally suck like for me, for my face, my face will not have it. The first thing that comes to mind for me is the peach foundation. That looks so bad on my face. Kind of reminds me of like the Bite Change Maker Foundation, like the same vibe. Like I looked 25 years older. You can see every single thing alive on my face that was going on, and I was like, never. So the reason why it's in my maybe section is because I'm thinking like, will I like this? Will I hate it? Will it have a very strong peachy scent? Because a lot of their peach products have a peach scent, but not overly peachy. But then some of their other items have a very strong peachy scent, and I'm like, ugh, I can't. I just can't. I wish. Um, so yeah, in a way, I want it because it's cutesy, it's uh, peachy, it looks good, but based on the other um, items that I've used from the line, like the peach complexion line, I really feel like this probably won't work out for me. So I don't think it's the type of item that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna run out to buy. I think it's, it would be you know smart for me to go to the store and see what's up, so. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's one more thing that I wanna speak about, but I think I'm gonna save it for next time, because I think we'll do that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it now. This right here is the ColourPop and Mulan collection. So this is in my maybe section. Why, you ask me? I'll tell you. You guys know I'm a massive Disney fan. I love Disney. I probably watched most of the Disney movies, I want to say at least 100 times each, probably more. Mulan is actually a movie that I've never watched. Like there are some Disney movies that I'm like on it. I know every single word. It brings back the best memories ever. But Mulan was one that I've ne I never watched. We never owned it on videotape, like VHS. We owned like Cinderella, Peter Pan, Aladdin, Lion King. Like those bring such fond memories. But Mulan is one that I've never watched. I don't know how. But I'm thinking to myself, I don't need to watch that to own this or have like those like childhood memories with this. I can watch it today if I really want to, which maybe I might. Um, but anyways, yeah, this whole collection looks absolutely stunning. It's in collaboration with ColourPop. Did I mention that? Or was I going on a um, rant here with how um, I never watched the movie? This whole collection is going to retail for $78, which I don't think is priced too badly. Um, but they're, they're going to also have the items sold separately. So first, see, firstly, let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. This is so beautiful. There is going to be three, 15 eyeshadows that are included in here. I love the tones in here as well. We get like also very rustic browns. I just love that rusty life. And then like really pretty metallic shades like gold, a silvery type of color, a reddish type of shade. Very, like, absolutely gorgeous. Um, the palette is going to retail for $22. And they're also going to have a luxe cream lipstick, which is going to retail for $9. A luxe gloss in Phoenix. 
Um, they're gonna have lip bundles, two blushes, and ten dollars each. I feel like the prices went up, right? Like when when was it a ColourPop blush with ten dollars? Anyways, this whole collection is really really cute. It's Disney, so I feel like I have some form of a connection, but I feel like I need to watch the movie. And I feel like once I watch the movie, maybe I'll be like, oh, I need to have this in my life. People are absolutely going insane about this collection. I feel so left out because I'm like, no. So it's in my baby section, but I'm leaning more towards, um, yeah, you need to pick it up. I know you guys, I have to hear your thoughts on that one. Let me know, let me know. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my yes, no, maybe so. Um, in general, I would love to hear your comments, especially about the Mulan um, collection. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I will speak to you guys in my next video. Bye.